So now we're going to go into actually tapping this velocity stick. I'm going to put these, this little elbow, it's a, just a brass elbow. I'm going to put these barbs on there. And then my hose will go right on that, and these will get tapped into here. And it may look funny, but um, I'm getting warm air, which normally used to travel into the carburetor anyways, um, back into the, the carburation system. Um, and you know, I'm doing that for a bunch of reasons. One, because I think that without hot air coming from the head and um, from the exhaust system, whatever that little unit is on the exhaust system, really helps to heat up the air, um, especially in the winter time, uh, coming into the carburetor, which will aid in evaporation and a better fuel mix, you know, I believe. One of the things I did don't like, though, is that the hole on this is fairly small compared to the hole on that. And so... I'm going to take and drill this hole out a little bit. And I'm going to do it in stages. So that was a 964th. Jump up to a 532nds. Then 11 64ths. Three sixteenths. The other thing this is doing is smoothing out the actual bore a little bit. Um, because this is cast brass, the inside of these are fairly rough. So again, we're trying to just get more out of what is really a plumbing product that I'm modifying um, to do this job. And you might be able to tell, but you can see here, come on, focus for me. You can tell you might, you can see here that these barbed ones are perfectly smooth on the inside, and um, that's kind of I don't know if you'll see. So you can see there that that's what this has done for this as well. It smoothed it out, and you can see looking in the other side that normally it's kind of rough in there. So I'm not smoothing everything out, but it's definitely smoothing it out. So I've gone up to 7.30 seconds, which is pretty good. And you know, it, it, it probably wouldn't be too much more to go up to the quarter inch that this is. The quarter inch that this is. Um, but I think that's going to be good. You know, it's, we've got just a small difference now. And a quarter inch would probably make the wall of those things just way too thin. So now we're going to go to the velocity stack. And um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this thing in my vise. So. Okay, so these taps have a tendency to come with um, something that tells you what size bit to use. It's usually just a little bit smaller than the tap itself. And, uh, but my problem is I don't have that. What I, I don't have the bit, so I'm going to get as close as I can um, to 3 eighths, 
which is the outside diameter of this. And in that case, with my drill bits that I have available to me, I'm going to be doing um, a 5 16th. Which is a whole, you know, 16th difference. So I might have to like wiggle a little bit and ream it out a little bit for me to start my tap. But it should do it. I like to get a good firm press down on this to start so that I can get and just give it a couple of um, squeezes to start my drill bit. Then I'm going to take a look at it and make sure that I'm holding things fairly parallel. Now, you, you can use a drill press for this. I don't have a drill press. Um, so I'm doing it this way. It wants to hang up as you start getting through. So I lighten up on my pressure. And that's going to happen almost every time. do that to kind of just clean up the hole a little bit and then I'm going to take my tap and I'm going to set it in the hole and then I'm going to start turning it the same way I would turn a screw. You want to apply a good amount of pressure when using the tap and give it a good good crank. So now my hole is threaded, and I should be able to start this fitting on here. Alright, so now that's threaded on there. So now that that one's done, I get to do the next one. And it's the same process. Okay, so here we have the velocity stack with my modifications. I've taken and uh, as I've shown in the video, I've taken and tap, drilled and tapped the stack itself and then put these brass elbows with these brass barbs. And that's what the two hoses that are coming from the engine are going to do. Um, and then, uh, so I'm going to go back, put the frame on, get this in place and, and ready for our, our filter. And just before I put the filter on, I'm going to oil the filter. This is a, an oil, oil, oil saturated foam filter. It's two parts. There's specific instructions for doing it, but I'll show you how to do that. It's really simple, but we're going to go over it on the video. Um, and then you'll know. The other thing that we looked at was the fact that to get from here to the carburetor was more than the um, rubber piece that was provided with the velocity stick. And so what I went, I, I just went and got a, um, let's see if you can see this, I just went and got a one quarter to one corner drain uh, connector basically um, and that goes on the end of our that goes on the end of the velocity stack just fine and then it'll hook up to the carburetor so we'll get most of this hooked up and then I'll get show you how to saturate this and we'll be good to go <laughs> 